Lucy, you're excited. Well, we got the heater. It's not working though. Well, not yet. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Go get him, go get him. Go get him, go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Oh God. All right, well, heaters. Uh, excuse me? The heaters, uh, the flue got put in, which is the chimney, I guess. Bob Beefcake and I got it welded and put up, if you guys haven't seen it, I uh, made an uncut video of us welding and putting it there. It's kind of cool. Nothing really like super crazy, but just kind of behind the scenes stuff. You guys, what I've come to realize is you guys don't realize or maybe see or know how much stuff I do off camera, like building and welding a platform for that. And now that I post our post on uncut, I'm like, oh, you guys actually like, you know, watching this kind of stuff. So today's kind of, kind of one of those days. This is kind of like a, I mean, it's kind of an uncut video. And by uncut, I mean, this goes on the uncut app, the website, if you guys don't know what it is, it'll be linked down below. That's where I post like kind of the behind the scenes stuff, the stuff that isn't really like, you know, a great title and thumbnail are super exciting, but like to me, it's interesting stuff and, and the viewers have found it super interesting. But today's all about snow. That's it. I know it's an exciting time at the flare farm when you got to make an entire video about snow, but the dogs are still wrestling. I'm not sure why, uh, but the trucks, trucks parked in the shop and I got a flatty. So that's six nice tires there. So that isn't going anywhere. What I'm starting off with is I'll jump into it. Well, not into it, but I'll, I'll give you a little bit. We're go, we'll go over it tomorrow, um, but essentially I bought the world's most expensive snow plow. Oh, probably not the world's most expensive, but bam! We got a brand new, maybe, are you out of your mind? Can you leave? This is what they do, this is all day long. All day long, and they're not mad at each other, in case you guys are like, oh my God! Aren't you? You guys are just such good doggies. All right, well, I got a snow plow for the old skinny baby. Haven't done anything with it. We'll work on that tomorrow morning. Some of you guys might be like, why don't you work on it tonight and get it ready? Well, because I got nothing to do tomorrow, that's why. It's gonna be freaking snowing. And I might as well, basically tomorrow, I'm gonna spend the day in the shop and outside plowing snow and, and just doing, I don't even know, snow stuff, I guess. But, really. Uh, so plows here, we'll go over that tomorrow, but I will be plowing hopefully some snow in the morning. Like, I don't know if I'm weird, but like when I was younger, and I, when I say younger, I'm talking 16 and 17, probably, well, 14, 15, 16, 17, probably. I loved the snow for one reason, one reason only. So I could go shovel and plow driveways and make money. I, that's what my favorite thing to do. I prayed for snow days, not so I could stay home and play cow with my buddies. I did do that sometimes, but I loved going out. Like I used to jump, I used to have like a little Ford Ranger, Ford freaking Ranger. I used to have a Ford Ranger truck, two wheel drive. I would drive it around the neighborhood the night before snow. I'd knock on a bunch of doors, ask if they wanted their you know driveway shoveled. Most people, this is a hack for some of you youngsters. This is what I used to do to hustle and get some money back before I could really like have a real job back when I was like, you know, 14, 15. You go knock on all the doors in the evening, right? Like, you know, wait till after dinner. I mean, you know, people get home from work. Don't bombard them. You knock on the door, boom, boom, boom. Hey, sir, would you like your, your driveway shovel tomorrow for $20? I don't think I even charged that much back then. Back then it was probably 10 bucks. But, and of course, you know, you got, Jimmy comes to the door and he's, no, I can do it. I'm a big, strong man, blah, 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 blah. You know, yada, yada, and which is fine. Didn't care. I said, sounds good. Go to the next guy. And I did this all around town, all around, like anywhere in walking distance. This is before I had a car. Then what you do folks is you go around the next day, but you go around around like about lunchtime, maybe between like 11 and one ish is like prime time. And you go around and you go to the doors you knocked on where their driveway is still not shoveled. That tells you one of two things. One, the person that they paid has not shown up yet and they're gonna be here later. Or two, Big Jimmy who said he was gonna shovel, it's being lazy. And when you're lazy, you can, you know, sometimes convince that person that it's just easier to pay me to do it. You don't need to do it. So I go knock on that door. Hey Jimmy, I saw your driveway still not shoveled. Did your, the guy that was supposed to do it, did he flake or would you want me to do it? And he, in his mind, he's like, well, I didn't have a guy. I was supposed to do it, but I don't really want to do it. Okay, yeah, I guess you can do it. So then he would tell me I could do it and then I'd go shovel his driveway and I'd get the money. That was one way I I kind of like back before I could even like drive, I just like dragged the snowblower around with me or the shovels. Just quick tip, I don't know why I talked about that to you guys. That's how I used to try to make money in the winter. In the summer was mowing lawns, but the winter was plowing snow. I love plowing snow. For some reason, I don't know what it is. I love it and today is no different. Well, I hope we get some snow, but I've got a project. And this project is attaching, this is a 
popper for anything. It can be for seed. It can be for ice melt. I actually, I bought it for food plus. Is actually what I really bought it for. Should I hook it up to this thing? I didn't even know I had this thing. I buy so many tools. I don't even know what I have. Look at, what is this? Oh, should, oh, oh. Maybe I should, should I hook it up to this? We even funnier. Is it strong? Oh God, yeah, it's really strong, isn't it, Lucy? Why? This is kind of cool. I like how small. I never even know I had this. Oh, I have a vacuum too. I bought a bunch of tools, I guess. I think that was for uh, Cyber Monday on Amazon or something. Anyway, so I've got a blower here that basically this thing mounts to it. You got to cut a hole in it. Oh, crap. I forgot to go grab the hole saws. I'll have to go back inside. I basically have to take a hole saw, cut a hole in this, somehow attach this. And what it does is it feeds whatever it is, whether it's seeds or ice melt into it and you can just blow it. And so I'm going to build it today and let you know if factor cap, if it's worth it. But I'm just imagining, you know, I hate spreading salt. Everybody does you take little cups of it and spread it. Or I, I have never actually seen anyone do the little like spreader, like seed spreader. Normally just take cups of it and shoot it out. But imagine standing in your heated garage Wing! and then going back inside and finishing your hot chocolate inside. See, that's what you would do if you hooked it up to a leaf blower. Maybe that one, but I'm actually gonna go with the gas one because when I'm not doing snow stuff and doing food plot stuff, you can put seeds in it, like radishes and turnips and smaller seeds. And you can basically seed an entire food plot in one spot, you just ring, and you'll see it. So I gotta figure out how to get this thing on here. Pretty sure you need a hole saw and you put it in there and then maybe you strap. I gotta read the instructions. Anyways, today's adventure. There's nothing crazy, but all I know is we've got the biggest snowstorm of the year happening. And uh, suppose we've, I, someone said 17 inches, which would, would never happen. That, we never get 17 inches. If I'm guessing, if I'm meteorologist beefcake, I'm over here saying five, maybe. Could be 50, I don't know. They're, they're predicting a bunch, but it is icy. My truck is covered in ice. I was at like a nails on a chalkboard effect. Sorry if that did that. But my I just pulled my truck in so it stays warm in here. Believe it or not, the shop is pretty warm. There's actually the thermostat, 37. 37 in here is not bad. Yeah, so we got the propane here for the heater. That'll come at some point. Skid loaders in here so it stays nice and warm. But first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna prep for this tonight. We gotta go spread ice melt out there, outside by the house, on the driveway, the sidewalk, the porch. Spread it out there. We're gonna go to bed, wake up in the morning. Now, snow's not supposed to start till like six. So I don't know if I'm gonna get up early and start plowing snow it might be one of them things where you just sit there and watch it all day long and then in the evening i might have to do a nighttime snow plow or something like that but it's also supposed to be a low of negative i think 11 tomorrow so it ain't gonna be warm either so it's gonna be super cold super snowy i mean the biggest arctic blast that we've seen all year by far so i gotta prepare for it by being smart and laying down some ice melt with hopefully this contraption right here so you guys stay tuned all right let's see we got some instructions in here normally i'm not a big instructions guy but for simple products like this oh wait there's stuff in oh it came with a whole stop these guys gotta figure it out came with what i need nice look at that all right looks like we got some rubber straps in here i'm guessing that's to fix this hopper onto the actual blower. Like I said, if you like these kinds of videos, like if you watch it, like, damn, that's kind of dope. I'm telling you, I'm posting these on Uncut all the time. These are just little one-off videos. But since I got the skid loader attached, I figured maybe it's YouTube worthy, kind of cool. This, maybe, maybe, or maybe not so much. But like I said, link down below if you guys want to check it out, posting these kinds of videos basically all, all year long. These little project videos, one-off stuff. So determine where the hole will be with a felt pen. Way to say Sharpie without getting sued. Mark the spot for the hole. Be careful to center the spot on top. Use Using a one and a quarter hole round style drill. Uh, detach the spreader base from the hopper. Man, they got pictures, which is which is good. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. If I was a hopper, I would probably be somewhere in here. Because if it's too down, too far down here, it's gonna weigh it down. You gotta imagine this thing filled with stuff. You know, your wrist, unless you got one of them strong wrists and, and whatnot. I would imagine I would want it about right here. Marker right here, about like that. Okay, mark. Whoa. This thing off of the, the black piece down here. Phillips. Does that give me what I need here? Oh, it did. All right, dope. That's your adjuster for your flowage. So the question is, does it go here? Or does it go here? So far, seems like it fits pretty good. Wow, these instructions. Blowers doing one of these guys, yeah. Okay, okay, I think I got it backwards. I think like this. Here's, here's how you gotta think about this. If I was right-handed, what would make the most sense? Because that's how it's gonna be. So if I'm right-handed, meaning you control this with your right hand, you're gonna want the pull lever with your left, right? So this this piece right here is what you're supposed to grab because there's like a little imprint. So if I'm right-handed, most people are gonna 
pull it with the right or hold it with the right, and you're gonna wanna adjust the flow just without switching hands. See, if you guys are right-handed, you're lucky. I'm lefty, I have to think about that stuff all the time in life. You just gotta think, what would make some more sense for a right-handed person? Put it on this side. Look, you go check the instructions, you look at the picture, and that's exactly what it shows. Struggles of a lefty. If you're a lefty, you know, you know. All right, so, boom, bop. The mounting straps are attached to the spreader base by pushing strap holes into protrusions? Don't they know I dropped out of school? What, protrusions? You're telling me, what's a synonym of protrusion? Because I guarantee you there's a better word for that. Pro, pro, true, protrusions. Something that protrudes. Well, that didn't help. The act of protruding, that doesn't help. Four synonyms to protrusion. Projection, swelling, or protuberance. All right, we're just going with protrusion. Whatever that means, you protrude that. Oh, so I bet you stick, okay. So I bet you stick it on like this, and then you wrap it like that. Is that, is that, I mean, that's holding it, isn't it? It's not, it's not not holding it. So you take the other one, where'd that other one go? This guy. Then you just do this, wrap it. I mean, the one thing I will say is once you do this, you got a hole in your blower. No easy way to say it. You got a hole in your blower. If you're okay with a hole in your blower, product is for you, I guess. I mean, I, I don't care if there's a hole in my blower. I guess you just, I mean, you can probably put a piece of duct tape over or something like that. Maybe maybe they make something for that. Okay, mounting straps, got it. Assure operation blowers correctly. Slide gate should slide smoothly. Smooth as it's gonna get. Attach this spreader. Okay clockwise, and you gotta tighten them. I don't even know if you had to take out them screws that I did earlier, to be honest. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't think, I think that was just me being stupid. But we'll go ahead and tighten them bad boys back up. I will say, I'll be impressed if this works. I mean, this might be a game changer, folks. Think about fertilizer, okay? Y'all dads fertilizing your lawns and whatnot? Look at you now, that's it. Now you got yourself a pretty much automatic saw spreader, fertilizer spreader, seed spreader. You wanna overseed your lawn? Telling you, you do one handed, you got your beverage of choice in one hand, game changer. All right, well, it's hooked up. Let's go put it to you, stay tuned. Okay, so far so good. I mean, that, I feel like that actually holds more than I thought. Could probably take a little more, but we'll start with that. And we're ready. Uh, I'm just gonna go out and say, you might, uh, you got some strong wrists if you're one-handed. This is a two-hand job. It's one, it's one of these guys, okay? One-hander, I mean, you maybe you'll do the old hip strat, give her one of these if you got your drink or whatnot, but that salt's freaking dense. See this bad boy fires up. What the hell? It's going! Wonder if I take the tip off. Hang on. Okay, I got it. I got it. Nope, nope. Don't die. Oh! Why does this blower suck? Okay, we can do this. We can do it. Alright, I'm not getting sponsored by Husqvarna. These things freaking suck. Really. Okay, I'm out of salt. Uh, well, that couldn't have gone worse. I mean, the product worked. Look at my driveway. The whole, look, I stood, I was standing there, and I didn't, if I had two hands, it's a two-hander. I was I was joking and I was saying you could do it with one hand. You can't, it's a two-hander. Trying to film was impossible, but look, I got it all the way to here. Whoa, I just, was, look, this is all ice. I just did my entire driveway. 
If, we, if I had two hands, I was really paying attention. I mean, you're talking six seconds. I mean, I would say that's a successful purchase. I think my leaf blower sucks. And it's a two-handed deal. Filming, it's not easy. But think about that. That thing, that rig's ready in your in your garage. Fire it up. I've got an electric one. Now that I'm thinking, I probably should have used that. The only reason why I didn't is because if I use it for food plots, then I'm, you know, basically relying on a battery or I have to go buy more batteries versus gas. You just bring more gas. But honestly, if it was just for ice melt purposes or maybe just a little fertilizer on the yard or overseeding, I'd put it to them a little electric suckers i got one that's got a big old battery goes real quick i'm not a fan of the gasoline like i like the power of it i'm not like a big e guy you know i like gasoline but you saw me fiddling with it and popping the battery maybe that little dewalt one was maybe i was onto something i bet the little dewalt one would work uh that thing's got some power so anyways driveway's been salted i just gotta do the sidewalk a little around the shop that's pretty much it that's just part one our just beginning of this video part two will be tomorrow the big day uh this is just prep work the big day hopefully we get a bunch of snow hopefully i can break in the old skiddy and uh hopefully plow my driveway with ease i was doing the atv strat last year and it's it's not awful i mean it's better than shoveling or even snowballing but not not the best so anyways we'll see you guys tomorrow Shoo! guess what ladies and gentlemen if youtube doesn't work out i think i can be a meteorologist you know why because no matter what they say even when they're extremely wrong, they still have a job because we got no snow. Well, we got some snow, but pretty much no freaking snow. I mean, my driveway, I feel like had more snow on it prior to it snowing than what it has. Look at it. I mean, I'm probably the only person on the planet to complain about not having snow. I mean, I guess I could plow this. We got a little drift action. Drift How are you feeling about it? Oh, pretty cold. Yeah, it's not warm today. It was negative 17 not the wind chill when I woke up this morning yeah. at 6 a.m. So, um, yeah, it's cold today, super chilly. We are bundled up, but you ever spend $4,000 on a snow plow and get super excited? And then you, it's like a kid on, before Christmas, and you're like, God, I can't wait to plow snow. I woke up at 6 a.m., just excited, and I was like, couldn't sleep. I woke up, I gotta plow a rock now. I mean, this is honestly not terrible right here. Yeah, you can push I could push that. Yeah, I mean, basically, you need to just go like push it up, but we'll have to put the little feet on it. So, yeah, I mean, like, literally, Look at my driveway. There's no snow. Uh, there's a little bit that I could probably plot. It's BS. Like meteorologists, I swear to God, one of them was like, you guys can get up to 17 inches. You better go stock. I, I have, I have, I'm like not a conspiracy theorist guy. I have a conspiracy. Think about this. Just think about it for a second. Cause I'm in the YouTube space, right? It's all about clicks, likes, comments, engagement, watch time, right? You guys, I mean, we all stretch the truth a little bit, right? With, with getting views. Okay. Think about this. You're a TV channel news channel and your company makes money based off the amount of people that tune in yeah. how often they tune in and how long they're tuned in when i'm sitting here thinking are we gonna die from this snow or not what do i do i tune in yeah. in my opinion i could just be totally wrong i think that the weather channel or this like the news channel in general exaggerate to make it seem like there's gonna be a natural disaster yeah. so you go so you go to the store you buy food like we did that we went to this why we buy food i don't know i had plenty of food but it's like a, it's like a it's like a economy boost which is great i i, I mean everyone's spending money is always a good thing so just boost the economy you know whatnot but i have this suspicion that they exaggerate and they're like i mean they literally said a minimum of five inches yeah i mean i'm one to exaggerate five inches you know what i mean <laughs> but this is ridiculous this is a little bit much right here i mean there's literally no snow i don't know you guys have to let me know what you think one thing i do know is uh the animals are out of hay well they weren't out it oh, just all standing by it too. yeah they're all hanging out they're not out they just it snowed and they knocked it all on the ground there was actually plenty of it uh, the only one that's like actually out is ralph because his hay was on the ground and now it's covered in snow so he i went and fed him last night but he hasn't had any food yet today so that's why we're up and we got to go give them some food so we're gonna give them each a bale we're gonna go fluff up their barns again okay oh wow we look hey he wasn't wrong what do you say five five inches right here pal that's it that's all you're good for I, why why? Everything was supposed to be covered. Why did it? That much. Why did it pile right here? Is the biggest question. I have. I got no clue. So, anyways, that's that. Long story short, we don't have much snow to plow. Some we can we can mess around a little bit here. Uh, so we'll get some plowing done. We'll head down to the animals. Down by the, the road by the animals. When I was down there last night. Actually, had more snow than this, so we can plow down there. And then we got to fill up the barns, check on the animals, make sure they're good, make sure their water's good, their food's good, and whatever. And then I want to try to fire up the mini jeeps because we haven't ripped them in the snow yet. And I don't know if ripping them in the snow is a stretch. There's some snow out there, but we could probably find a little bit. So we might try to start those guys up. But anyways, it's very cold. I think 
think it's still like below zero right now. So anyways, I need some gloves and uh, well, let's see if get this bad boy fired up and uh, we got to put the little little feet. So these guys right here, I think these, they, they drop down or should I just hover it? What are you thinking? It's up to you how much gravel you want to. Do you like, I like moving gravel. Yeah. How about I try it without it? And then if you're like, hey, you're plowing gravel, gravel. then we can move yeah. it. Cause moving them up and down is gonna, kind of, gonna be kind of a pain, but I gotta use it. I was so excited last night. Woke up this morning, pure disappointment. So anyways, get the old skitty fired up. Oh, oh what? Oh, okay, I broke that. Did the bottle freeze? Yeah, the bottle froze. Well, I'm a dumbass. I just broke that. But look at this, just sprayed a little bit. Pure ice. <laughs> I was like, hey, I'm gonna clean the windshield. Why didn't I just take a dry rag to it? I don't know. <sighs> now I need to get a scraper. <laughs> I, dude, it is, it doesn't get cold where, where, where I live. I mean, like Midwest, you know, this is cold. This is like, I feel like I'm in Alaska right now. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, this thing really does it good. What the hell's wrong with this thing? Oh, that's good. That's, that's good on the old ears. Son of a gun. Uh, this thing is brutal. I can see good enough. more gravel than anything uh, I'll also come out and fix this later that's why my new house I'm swearing by asphalt it's gonna cost me a fortune I hate it I hate the gravel and I know the feet would probably help but then you get the slope at just asphalt's gonna be a game changer so I think I should try back dragging the old driveway I think I'm just wasting time here that's not doing me a lot so the only reason why I didn't put the feet down is because I knew I'd have to put them back up so the driveway has a decent amount of snow drifted up there so let's go see if this bad boy can take care of business. inefficient way you could plow your driveway yeah. but I mean the backtrack surprisingly worked yeah, I mean that pretty good. We've got a little bit left here and see that's why I got to get that the old leaf blower back out here if that socks out turn straight to ice but honestly the backtrack worked better than I thought yeah I mean it cleared the dry and I was going slow and I'm trying to like you know I don't know if my driveway is gonna get chewed up by this we'll see later I guess but overall I mean it works yeah. I wish we had more snow to deal with but the old back drag made quick work of the driveway. The problem, my driveway, whoever designed this, not sure what the strat is because it's giving it one of these guys, which makes it hard. You, you can hear me dragging and that's why, yeah, it's just like, you almost have to do it two sections. Back drag it here and then plow it here and then shove it off that way. But anyways, driveway's now plowed. Easy peasy. Could I have done it with a shovel about the same time? Yes. What's the fun in that though? So everything at the house, I think it's taken care of. I ain't gonna worry about the snow by the shop. I just made it worse. So anyways, let's go check out the animals. Put a 
should have put the feet down. Yeah. <laughs> I just murked the gravel. Rip. Dude, you ditched the gravel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, in, in my defense, this had too much gravel on it. So, I mean, there, there was way too much. I mean, we've got a road. The problem is there's no more gravel there, and I push all the gravel to here. You always fix that in the spring, I guess. Yeah. I mean, the plow works, but yeah, I should have put the feet down. I was being lazy. I really should have put the feet down, because I just, uh, I absolutely murked that entire road. Now, again, basically, we're good. I mean, it'll, it'll be fine as far as the road goes. It's now cleared off. The sun's going to hit it, and, well, I wouldn't say it's going to thaw, but so far, so good. Ralph, what's he doing? He got a scratch on his head? Oh, God. Why is his mouth? Oh, what's in his mouth? Is he chewing bubble gum? What is that? Come here, buddy. Come here. You're not used to the cold, huh? Oh, God. What is the strat? Are you all right? You got, does he have rabies? Why does he look like that? Come here. Hey. Is it just freezing to its lips? Big boy, spit? get that off. Oh. Nah, get that off. Oh. You don't want that? I think it's just Ooh. spit. Yeah. Why is he doing that? Yeah, he's got rabies. rabies. We'll go inside. It, you just, you just see what he did at the gate? Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll show them in a second. Wait, yeah, dude, is Ralph is. There's a chance we got to sell, buddy. Like he's, Wait, he, what? he's scary, dude. I think Ralph is. He's reminding me of like a T Rex. Uh -huh. Like he just look at it. Look at him walk. He kind of walks. Like one. Looks pissed. He's scary. I'm not sure about this guy. I can see it in his eyes. We're not friends anymore, are we? What? Look at him. Look at him. What's he doing? Oh God, he's blown bubble. Ew. Is he is he sick? I don't know what that is. I might have to call my friend that raises camels. <laughs> Y'all right? She's in, oh, and he's, and he's pooping? Well, first we gotta give him grain. So the grain bins are empty. So we're gonna back the mule into the barn, load up the grain, put the grain in there, load, oh, I forgot one important thing. We might have to go back up and get it. A leaf blower, blow, out the, blow the snow out of the troughs. Oh. Thought about that last night when I was sitting here thinking, man, what am I gonna do with all this snow? Well, it didn't actually snow a lot, but I think maybe there's not a lot of snow in the troughs. I don't see any in route. So maybe, maybe we'll be all right. Maybe we'll be all right. All right, well, let's load up the grain. I made it. <laughs> think these Jeeps are gonna start? Give a shout out to my boys. This is Wells Amon. They sent me some gloves. Oh, those are those new gloves. Dude, yeah. fire. Shout out my boy if you're watching. These are, these are fire gloves. Okay. Oh yeah, Jeeps. See if they start. Oh, this thing would be fun too in the snow. Which Ooh, one? that thing would rip. Oh, you know the go kart would the rip. Go oh, we have so many toys. How, how, how do we <laughs> how do we choose? Uh, I think the jeeps are new. We gotta do the jeeps, yeah, right? The jeeps. I'll just do this one. All right, let's see. Pull the choke. God, there's no way they're gonna start, bro. <laughs> Come on. This looks so cool, bro. There's no way this thing's starting. The thing is, it's got. This one might. Cause it's a pull. Mm -hmm. Well, we might be out of luck. I doubt the bro pet's gonna do anything. We might just have to get a can of star fluid. How do you own so many things and none of them work? Oh, I guess we should put mess around. Yeah, loads probably, of feed probably should feed the animals, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, we got the grain in. We gotta get Ralph some of these. Maybe he'll stop slobbering. Basically, this is just when we have to go give a bail. Yeah. This is gonna be for, Actually, all of you are on the skid. I'll, I'll fight him. I'll fight <laughs> you him. You want to fight him? Yeah, well, if, if someone gets hurt, I would rather be me. So, you know, yeah, I don't. Like, have you seen the videos of camels killing people? No, I Dude, looked at Dude, I got into that the other night. <laughs> it's scary. Bad. Really? Dude, they'll literally just grab your head. And this, he like picked the dude up and ripped it and just decapitated him in like a second. Oh, like oh, didn't even know it happened. Yeah, no, I'm serious. So geez. these are hopefully gonna save my life today, because we have to go give him a bail. Nay nibblers, check. Grain check. Let's go feed the animals. Shoo! All right, how you guys do, Dale? <laughs> you guys look pretty dry. I don't see anyone that's covered in snow. 
You guys sleep good? Ralph, Ralph's got some snow on him, but I came, I will say I came down last night and uh, he, I came down that hill and his head popped out of the barn. So I know he was in the barn and that was like when it was like absolutely blizzarding. What you think big guy? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You want some grain? Well, we'll give him some grain and then we'll give him some hay. And then like I said, some nandibler. So yeah, go ahead and go ahead and fill that up. So for hay, oh, we got three, it looks like three good bales. Uh, so these are three good ones, meaning this year's hay, like stuff I just recently got. And then we've got three bad bales, meaning last year's hay, which is what we've been using for bedding. It's not great bedding. I'm sure straw would be better, um, but since it's here, we already bought it. We might as well use it. And it works. It's not like it doesn't, but it, it doesn't stay as fluffy as long. And so it compacts easier. So we're going to take another bale in there today and pitchfork some in there. And then either we can give the rest to Ralph or we can give the rest to them. I don't know if it really matters, but either way, so we're that's pretty much what we're doing. We got to make sure these guys are alive. And then at some, we got, we'll start up a toy at some point <laughs> messing around in the snow. It's the first snow of the year. We got to have a little bit of fun. I don't know what toy. I don't know because none of them will work, but we'll figure it out. We'll have to go get some starter fluid or we might just have to ride the big four wheelers. But anyways, all right, Ralphie, you settle down, buddy. I'll get you some grain. I got you, Ralphie. We're coming. He's a big boy. Who's a big boy? Yeah, I, you're, we're going. Hey, we're going. Hey, we're going. There you go. You got it. You got it. There, you get a full scoop just to yourself, my guy. He got a little dusting on him, but he's not looking too bad. I know a lot of you guys are like, Flair, I can't believe you have a camera out in the winter. Listen, you ever been to the desert? Well, I haven't, but I know it gets damn cold there at night, and doesn't it, buddy? Maybe not this cold, maybe not, you know, snowed on cold, but it gets, <laughs> it gets pretty darn chilly. So, you doing all right, buddy? Hanging out, you like the grain? Go ahead and feed the rest of these guys. And uh, how are their troughs? Look all right? I, last night I threw these blue bins in there. Uh -huh. uh, just, it was like pretty much when it was done snowing, just so I, so I knew we would have a place to feed them. But otherwise, take a leaf blower and just and blow out all the, basically blow out all the snow from the troughs. But yeah, the troughs aren't looking bad. You guys are looking hungry. All right, Lucky better feed them. not bad. Dale, get out of the feeder. Hey, easy, turkey. All right, grain, check. Hey, no, you go back. Ralph, why does he do this stuff? Ralph, you have a whole trough full, buddy. Oh, let's get them some hay. The hay now. Jake's gonna grab a bale. We're gonna give him a bale of good hay in the feeder first. They're all eating right now, munching, aren't you, buddy? Carlos, what up, buddy? Now we gotta get it in here without any of the animals escaping. That's always the fun part. I've done it by myself, I have. Not the most enjoyable experience. You stay where you are. I can tell you, Rick's definitely getting out. Oh no, we're good. You stay there, buddy. You stay right there. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this bale in the feeder. I've also talked about, I think, I'm gonna try building a better feeder in this. Welding, now that I got a welder, maybe over the winter when we're bored. This thing's also just like bent and destroyed, but I think I can build a better one. Straight down. Oh, watch out, hang on, watch out for Llama. Llama, get out of the damn feeder. Llama, hey, hey, you're gonna die. Hey, get out of the feeder. There, there we go. Fresh hay, buddy. What do you think? You like that? You guys excited or what? Everyone's like, what the hell's going on in here? Look, hey, how about this time you don't spill the whole thing? How's that sound, Dale? You like that idea? I didn't realize how close we put the barn. Sheesh! That was close. Dale, move your white ass. I gotta shut the door. All right, so hay's done. Dale, no, Rick. No, don't eat the wrap. The wrap is not for goats, okay? You guys wanna see what we were talking about earlier? I was like, oh, I'll show you guys oh, yeah. later. Heck, I don't know when I came down here yesterday, or I'd have been two days ago. And look at this. This is a brand new gate. Was this you? Why do you do this kind of stuff? Why, how do you, do you think his foot his foot had to have gotten he off? Must there. Like just do you think he in. got one foot over and kind of laid on it and then kind of like he was trying to get over? Maybe. That's the only thing I can think of. He just like stood up and kicked it. I don't know if he would have that kind of like 
you know what, like by the time he's up there, he's just like, he's doing that, he's not pushing. Yeah. For this to break, I mean like, I could stand on this without, uh, without it doing anything. My guess is he got one foot over. His chest is pretty hard, he's got that little like callus thing here. My guess is he got one foot over, laid down, realized, hey, I can't get over, I can't get my back legs over, and yeeted back. He is a scary individual, I'll tell you that much. I mean, I'm not sure if there's too many other animals that can do this to a gate. I mean, this is a brand new gate. Yeah, look how much hay he's got over there, it's such a shame. We were talking about maybe putting a cattle panel around it, maybe that would work. I don't know if that would help, you know, not let him. Basically, I mean, once it gets snowed on, it's pretty much ruined, so. You ever just like think of just like taking a $100 bill and lighting it on fire? That's basically, that's basically what it happened. Every time we put a bale, like that's a hundred bucks. Yeah. That's a hundred bucks, that's a hundred bucks, like, a hundred dollars, and then when they waste most of it, it's literally like lighting a hundred dollar bill on fire. So I sit here and kind of think, like, how can we fix this problem? I think the cattle panel idea is the deal. Take a 16 foot cattle panel, just like we have it wrapped around that post, but wrap it around the hay bale. All right, well, let's go grab a good bale, run it back in here, through here. We'll grab the his treat so that way I don't die, uh -huh. and see if we can get the bale somewhere over there. Do we wrap it on? You're saying like wrap it this way, so stick it against yeah, like those right here, and, and then, then wrap that, and then just wrap it around it. Okay, all right. Like yeah, I like that idea. All right, well you guys stay tuned. Save my life, please save my life. All right. Well, we got another bale here. Just gotta keep Rick occupied. Rick, you get back. Come over here. What's this? You, you like these? Carol, these aren't for you. Carol, oh, f what are you doing, Carol? Hey, hey, it scares me. You want this? How about everybody comes over here and we get Scooby snacks? There you go. Okay, all right, here we go. We're going in. Like a charm, look at that. It does it every time. The old switcheroo. All right, gate's closed. Ralphie, we're coming for you, pal. Hey, you want some food? There you go, Ralphie. All right, now we're good. Stay there, Ralph. Yeah! All right, we're in. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. All right, don't kill me, buddy. Look at these footprints, though. Isn't that crazy? Ralphie's a beast. Like I said, we're gonna try to wrap a panel around it, maybe save a little bit. I don't know if it's gonna actually help or not, but uh, he's occupied by grain for now. As soon as he gets tired of that, we're pretty much dead, so. All right, well, let's grab this panel and see if we can wrap it around and make sense of our idea. Otherwise, we'll just leave it as is and let him tear it up. But I think ideally having something around it so he can't really tear it up, like basically, you know, see what I'm saying? He does one of these numbers and it's kind of counterproductive. There's an entire bale of hay right here that he didn't eat all this. So, all right. Well, let's see if this works. You almost died or what? Oh yeah, I forgot there was that trench there. Yeah, in the I bet you rocked pretty I good. I it and it bounced, and then like I was leaning uphill with the bale yeah. up here, and I just had to like slam the bale. Oh God. Yeah, that would've been a doozy, huh? Yeah, it would've been good. Okay, all right, well let's grab this panel and see if we can do what we're thinking. Oh God, Ralph, hang on. <laughs> Don't kill me, please. Hey buddy. You want some nibbies? Ooh, hey, hi. Hey, no, why don't you eat the one in my hand? Hi, buddy. How are you? Let me just check. What do you think? What do you think about that? We almost got it done. <laughs> this is so scary, bro. Just wiring this up. So you take a, a panel and put it around the bale. And that, see how it's already kind of poking out? He can reach over the top and he don't want to eat all the way through the ground. But this will at least help keep it confined. We'll see if it works or not, see what he thinks about it. But honestly, this would be super easy. Like, I think the elevated heat feeders are the best, but cheap wise, you could put like three or four of these along the back fence and just actually, you know, it'd be really smart on that side so we don't even have to go in. Just drop you could just, over. we might have to reinvent this in the just spring. Just push it over and then just drop it. Yes. It just falls straight in. It's gonna, it's one of those things like, it, will, it sounds good and then eventually you're gonna have to come undo them all, move all the panels, come and scoop it all out, and it's probably gonna blow 
the front those front panels are not in yeah. well enough but in theory maybe at the next house yeah. i like the idea of being able to dump hay without having to come in with the animals because that's like the hardest part imagine just being able to get it and just drop it over the fence that might be the deal or maybe we, we just need to take like the hay feeders and just put them up against the fence as the, the biggest only reason why i didn't the only reason is because if the goats or whatever Fine, jump on it good. they can jump on the bale and then back out that's the only reason why i didn't but that's maybe the next place we'll have to design something because if we could give them hay without having to come inside it would i mean then we don't die from ralph you know yeah. so all right, well, we got that done. We still aren't done. We still have to uh, hay the barns, so stay tuned. Watch out, Ricky. You can get back, buddy. Okay, we're not. Bring in a bale of old hay. Rehay the barns, make sure they got plenty of warm and bedding and all that good stuff. They should, honestly, they're probably fine. We just did this, like literally just did this, but they seem to pack it down pretty darn quick. So we'll go ahead and give them a new fluffing since it is pretty chilly outside. Shoo, golly, I am just so, so this is the, the dilemma. See, there's all this poop. It's like, I guess maybe the hay just didn't go as far as we thought. You see how the ground, like, yeah. this doesn't seem very comfortable to sleep in. No, it's all frozen. It's all frozen. So we got to add, I mean, basically, I ideally, you know, a third of a bale in here. Really, probably fluff this one up pretty good since it is now. Really? Really? Does that wrapper taste good? You like that? So pretty much, so take a third of it, put it in here, a third of it in the other one. And then Ralph's doesn't really probably need a full third, but whatever's left is basically what we'll give Ralph. We'll try to get, I think, oh, is it frozen? Oh, I was worried about that. Oh, it's not terrible. It's gonna take a little manual labor, but we'll get her done. Oh god. Fresh your butt on a pitchfork, huh? <laughs> huh? Carlos, what do you think, buddy? You having a good time? Well, I would say these well they like the hay, which is good, I guess. Oh, hang on. Probably should grab the coat so don't get stuck in the hydraulics. Don't be wanting that. Um, well, Carlos, get in there, buddy. Well, that's all we're gonna do for this barn. We gotta take the rest of this bale and take it to the other one, and then so whatever's left, we'll take to Ralph's. Ralph's barn's a lot smaller, and honestly, his hay isn't bad, so we'll just give him kind of whatever's left. There should be plenty, but I mean, if you guys are cold in this, I don't know what to tell you. That is so, look at, are you swimming in it, Carlos? You're swimming in the hay pal. What do you think? You enjoying yourself? Well, they're eating it too, which is good. Dale, Dale, no, what are you doing? Dale, settle down, Dale. This is for your bedding, but I guess if you guys want to eat it, you can eat it, I don't care. So anyways, other bales going over there. We're gonna pitchfork the rest of this in there, load up the other barn, go over to Ralph, hopefully he doesn't kill us, load up his barn, and we should be good to go. Whew. boys. I'm soaked in sweat. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. This is crazy. Rick, what do you think, pal? Okay. Well, that's, that's it. second barn. Done. First barn's chock full. Oh. Why are they eating on it? Dude, they love it. <laughs> <coughs> Definitely have grown after oh, that. Yeah. That's brutal. You. Oh, you guys want to come eat this one now? Well, I'll show you the just so you guys can see. We're making sure our animals stay warm. That's what we're dealing with. The whole barn is full and they can eat on it, but like I said, most of it's the idea is just bedding. So they've got a nice warm bed and they can even bed out here if they want to bed out in the sun. You know, if it's not windy or whatnot, then it's honestly probably warmer out in the sun and whatnot. So barn two, barn one, complete. I'd say that that barn's pretty full. They're oh, yeah. they swimming in it. So they got plenty of food now. And I mean, that's, it works good because if it does snow again, this doesn't get snow on it, so they now they kind of have hay that extra <clears throat> food. So. Yeah, extra food. Ralph's pacing like he's about to kill somebody. Yeah. <clears throat> Dude, I can't breathe. I don't know about you, but that's some rough that stuff. God damn. We gotta take the rest of this bale to Ralph, but we gotta distract him so he doesn't kill us. Wish us luck. You guys wanna be animal farmers. I'm not even really a farmer. It's a lot of work. Ooh, watch the old toast. Sheesh. Since it's small enough, I think we can just 
just chuck it in the barn and let him, he can roll around, pull it out, stretch it out, eat on it, he can do whatever he wants. I mean, honestly, I think his, his barn's still got plenty of hay, but it's not gonna hurt. Oh, he's been using it, look, he's got a poop corner. Look at that. He's got actually quite a bit, so that's good. We'll just, we'll chuck it in there. And we'll let him roll around on it, that way he's got plenty. But honestly, he's he's probably gonna be fine. I don't think he really needs any more, but since we got some extras, we might as well give it to him. You're good? Yep, bag it up, Derek. And we're good to go. Shoo! All right, well, work. Work is done. We gotta work hard, you play hard. I don't know what they say nowadays. We got starter fluid. You think this will save our life here? I don't know. Uh, cool. It's such a, like you buy all these nice things. I wouldn't say nice, but you buy all these cool things. I guess you gotta keep, if you kept them in the warm shop. Oh. Said, My shop's not big enough. I gotta build a bigger shop, I guess. Ooh, those feathers? Who died? Brett, what happened there? What are you thinking? I don't know. What do you want to try? Can you, uh, I, I mean the mini Jeep probably. Do you think the mini Jeep has anything to do with the starter fluid yeah, thing? Yeah, you sprayed it in the air and take that thing. Do you know where the air intake is on? See, I don't need, I know where the air intake on this because I already it's got- It's right there, so I don't think is I don't want to drive that in the snow. I'm gonna die. You'll eat shit. I'll eat, yeah, I'll die. The go-kart would be sick, we could do that. Oh, let's do the go, yeah, let's do the go-kart, that'll work. So as you can see right here, this is what we're taking off. This is the the air, air filter, air right? Filter. So the air intake. So you unscrew this doohickey, pop this doohickey off. Save that for later. And you don't need to spray it straight spray down. Spray the juice down the hole fire it up. Whoa, that went way further than I thought. That's probably good. Is this, well, does it really explode good. or how's that go? Choke is now on. Maybe that was the problem. Let's go, dude. Let's first pull. That didn't sound that good didn't either. Sound good. Low key, not easy to drive in the snow. Really? Not with all these clothes. Like, true, true. I, my my bending of the legs is limited. That was scary. Cause you can't slow down. I couldn't stop. <laughs> we we tightened the throttle cable too much. That thing is not fun to drive, especially when you're in bibs where you can't bend your knees properly. Not really all that enjoyable, but anyway, sorry to kind of hype you up. And oh, Ralph's eating his hay. Good, good job, Ralphie. Look at him. I really like that idea. I think it's a very simple and cheap fix to hopefully save some hay. Again, you're not gonna save everything, but he at least can't knock it over and roll it around and, and whatever. It'll kind of keep it on one place and he should be able to pretty much munch it all the way down to the ground, which is gonna be gonna be good for him. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, sorry to let down the meteorologist. You know, they promised. I was like, if I knew, I guess I wouldn't even try to make a video, but I was already so far in. I was like, you know what? I already showed you guys bowling around the salt. I feel like I gotta finish what I started. So that's it, animals are done. Driveway's ruined. Got to go regravel that. This driveway's. I mean, look how much rock I pushed. Yeah, that's ruined. So I got to fix. That's why I'm asphalting my house. And I know I should have just put the little feet down on the blade. I I know I was just I was being lazy and I didn't think I was going to push that much gravel. And clearly, clearly I had too much loose gravel here. Anyways, okay, that's, it was intentional because I need to take this gravel and go put it on that road. That's dirt. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It's cold outside. I'm going inside. And 
warm up, eat some food. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you in the next one. And peace.